Let's go. So, Tennessee. Are you kidding me? I understand it's just a few games, and they've not necessarily played really a good team yet. They've only played one Power 5 team. But tell me a single team in the SEC that's looked better than them. Dylan Sampson starts off here with a tutty. I'll explain why a little bit later, but I'll touch on it a little bit here. I think when you play a team this bad, all right, it can hurt you. It really can. Because your third stringers are putting forth better effort than this. Okay, they're giving the game away. You're losing one good actual defensive rep when you do this. Okay, I understand it's loud. I understand Tennessee's got a really epic light show and the fireworks and all the visuals. It really is an elite night game experience. I'm expecting uh, a Tennessee supporter to get me there. I would have loved to see James Pierce get a tutty, but he wasn't able to. This ball is loose. Kent State's able to recover it for a safety that probably works out better for Tennessee anyway. Huh? 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 All right, here we go. Mike Matthews, get him involved. See what you got. Okay, you're running screens to either direction. One thing I really love about Tennessee, they are by far the heaviest play-action team in all of college football. It's not even close, okay? Um, this is redunculous football right here. It's so simple. Like, it, it really is that simple. And you're just playing pitch and catch. Mike Matthews makes a guy miss. It's a pretty good athleticism. And he's able to turn this corner, right? If he's doing that, I understand, once again, level of competition, you want to get him more touches if he's breaking tackles. It's normally a sign of a good player. No Lance Hurd in this game. Tennessee fans, let me know what's going on. I, I didn't read uh, the injury report. Let me know. But I want you to see this, okay? When you have all day to throw, it does make this a lot easier. And look, there are a lot of double pumps to make sure that this inbreaker does get across, okay? So you see a lot of hitches mixed in here, but the accuracy is still ridiculous, okay? Hitting him right in stride, right in the chest uh, to our 11, was that Chase Nimrod right there? Uh, can catch a football and get upfield. Okay, good stuff. All right, Tennessee looks human. It's third and 12. You're thinking Kent State, hey, are they going to force a punt? Really? Kent State? No. All right, they give away what they're doing. They're bailing out. Okay, but they're not. They fake it. And then they actually do bail out. <laughs> huh? 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 And Nico... Sees that his transfer wide receiver from Tulane. Shout out Tulane. They put forth a pretty good effort versus Oklahoma today. And we get the game of the year in the SEC pretty soon. Tennessee and Oklahoma, pretty pumped up about that. Corner still gets burned. This is what I'm talking about, right? He's not even close, and he was bailing out at the snap, okay? Walk-in touchdown. I'm telling you, games like this can set you back. All right, Tennessee fans, before I show you this Deshaun Bishop touchdown run. I do have a very important question, okay? Now, before I show you this absolute beautiful piece of running, look at me down here, okay? Tennessee fans have given away this Nico rookie card on Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Central. Yes, I'm debuting a Tennessee-only live show. So all you got to do is show up. Just be there. And I guarantee it, I'm better as a live show performer than a film study guy. I promise you, okay? Look at the second-level movement our first level move it from this offensive line and it gets to the second level and man that's a good block to get that backer down to the ground by the right tackle and now it's off to the races here from bishop and once again he's untouched right all these touchdowns basically guys running untouched uh right into the end zone so it's good to see bishop get his confidence can you trust him as an rb2 behind samson We'll see. All right. So I understand that everybody's going to have their opinion on onside kicking when you're up 30 to zero and you know you're going to mercy rule them. Okay. Here's my issue. If you line up in this formation, you deserve it. You just do. Okay. He's, he's 20 yards from, from the kickoff, right? You just take that. Make them have to make a recovery. And look. It wasn't even that good of an onside kick. 
He had plenty of opportunity to muff it. But, man, Kent State, they, 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 it's it's horrible. I, I, I don't know why they hired the coach that they hired, but, ugh, ugh, whoo. Fourth and one. I'm not the biggest fan of this formation. I'm being real. Getting super tight with fullbacks here. Uh, but it's Kent State. Look at all this push, man. Cooper Mays. Man, I understand there are a lot of good centers this year in the SEC this year. Okay? He he was... Mays might have been the best player on the field. Okay? I don't really understand, if I'm being honest, why this backer kind of just ran in here. Okay? He's just running into the same gap the DT's in, all right? And that kind of takes him out. I mean, he had two different holes to run through. All you got to do is make the safety miss. I don't think this number 20 safety touched a Tennessee player all night, okay? So once again, it's a walk-in, untouched, Bishop touchdown on a fourth and one up the gut, okay? Ugh. Ugh. All right, we get to here. And if you watch my video game live stream Friday, uh, this was basically all I was doing, running Dylan Sampson. And this is a kind of sad thing about this, okay? He's running through here untouched yet again, okay? He didn't even flinch. He didn't even bother to do a move. He just kind of just ran through there, like literally like if he was running against air. Crazy. That's absolutely surreal to see. I understand they're trying to take physicality out of this man are we sure that this is not bishop sycamore i mean what the hell i mean uh, look at this qb i mean i don't know i mean all right i gotta show some love on this hit man bang whoo whoo man i gotta show it again man this is insane all right now, should he have led with his head like this? No. You don't ever want to do that, right? Hurt your neck. He's obviously going for the highlight real hit. It looks clean. They're going to get you every time Lita went the helmet. Thomas, I think is his name, or, or Tucker, uh, might get suspended for that. He will miss the first half. Actually, he only missed the second half. He should be good for the next game. All right, 51-0. to zero. The spread has been covered. Okay, is this is this Gaston Moore? It is. Okay, God, Tennessee has run this play and it's been unfreaking believably profitable. It is such a difficult play to stop too. Okay, they've been hitting you with runs. You know that this tight end could be a lead blocker, so all you got to do is slip it and parting of the seas, wide open touchdown right into the checkerboard uh, end zone here. In this where Jason Witten caught that pass versus Arkansas. Either way, what a freaking play. Huh? 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 Man, dude, I understand it's Tennessee. You're not even close to being as good as this team. But I would fire every single Kent State coaching staff member. Every single one of them. Okay? Why are you just letting them? I mean, this is a walk-in. Okay? Walk-in over here. We take a look at this double move by Mike Matthews. This catch is absolutely ridiculous, okay? Um, this ball is actually really late uh, from Moore. It's not really, really, really late. But look at this catch by Matthews. Highest point, catches it all hands, protects it, and takes it all the way in for the tutty. I'll play it again. What a throw from Gaston Moore. Obviously, it wasn't the absolute best, best, best throw, and a lot of people were running open, but... Do we have a QB controversy? And not, I'm just kidding. Huh? 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 Nico's still the guy, but it is good for Moore's confidence to go out there. And look, you're only as good as your backup quarterback if you absolutely need him. Now, uh, I'm so excited about this Oklahoma game. I've said all year that this is the biggest game in the SEC because I feel both of these teams before the year were fringe playoff teams. Not as much Oklahoma now. They have stumbled through these opening weeks, but... We will see what happens. It is true, though. Gaston Moore did throw for more tutties. I'm just saying. Ha, ha, ha.